Welcome back to Broken Sword. This is part two of my playthrough. I needed to get back into the gallery, but a familiar figure was guarding the door. It was Sergeant Mu. Our paths had crossed before. Stop the second there. Sergeant Mu, we meet again. Aha, Madame Cola, an unexpected pleasure. I was in the gallery at the time of the theft. Can I get back in? I am sorry, but I am under strict orders from Inspector Nave. Uh, nobody in, uh, nobody out. And I must correct you, Madame. It is no longer just a theft, it is a murder. Mon dieu! That poor man! Um, see. I witnessed the crime! I've got to get back in there! I'm sure you can make an official statement in good time. I saw the thief! I think I can help the investigation. I am implacable, Madame Cola. Who is Inspector Nave? The most promising young investigator on the force. A genius. A man blessed with almost superhuman insight. He sounds highly perspicacious. Madame, it is not for us to talk about the inspector's sweaty proclivities. He is about to solve his third case in as many days. So, what's he got that the other investigators don't have? Blood's better. He is the world expert. He reads the entrails of the crime scene like a book. I chased after the shooter and got a photo of him. Inspector Nave will be delighted. You've got to let me into the gallery to show him. Absolutely not. So I cannot go in without Inspector Nave's permission? No. And to get Inspector Nave's permission, I need to go in. Exactly. Have you ever heard of Kafka, Sergeant Mu? Madame Gola, I do not see what soccer players have to do with this. <laughs> no, he's a... Never mind. <clears throat> Here's my press card. Do you have a statement for the paper? Yes, madame. Stay away from the crime scene and let the police do their job. And always leave a light on when you go out at night. I really need to get into the gallery and speak to Inspector Nave. Tut tut, he is not to be disturbed. He is applying his famous scientific methods. Any moment now, the case will be cracked. I certainly hope so. I am dog tired and want to go home. This was madness. Sergeant Mu wasn't going to let me in. Why are you so tired, Sergeant Mu? I have been working for three days with no rest. Nave is a genius in his field, and he assumes that we all have his energy and vigor. Oh, you poor man. If you'd like to go and get some sleep, I will watch the door for you. That's very thoughtful of you. Ha! A cunning attempt to make me a deserter, madame. A gendarme never leaves his post. Well, how about a hot drink? Ah, that would do the trick for sure. Unfortunately, I mustn't drink on duty. My doctor specifically warned me against it after the last... Uh, incident. That incident you mentioned, what happened exactly? I don't want to talk about it. All I can say is it was very... unfortunate. I am on duty. And I need to focus. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Sergeant Mu. You've been so helpful. Oh well. <clears throat> the body was still in there. I had to get back inside. <coughs> Can't figure out a way to get inside here. It was an office. The room was full of strange trinkets. The pissoir was decorative and unpleasant. Mm. 
can make a save in a second to see what else there is in this street that I can use to help me get past Sergeant Moo. Um, oh, that's a nice guy down here. Madame. Bonjour, Monsieur. Whatever it is you want, we are closed. Then why are you standing here? You would not understand, Madame. Try me. Because I look at you, and I know you are like all the others. The others? The pretty women who shop, who gossip, who have their spa days, their almond croissant. <laughs> that bad, huh? <laughs> and the men with their grooming products, and their shiny shoes, and their skinny suits who come to my cafe and ask me for lattes, macchiatos, frappe. I see your point. Is this what we fought on the barricades for, madame? Ripped up the paving slabs, bled on the streets. Isn't it? No, madame, it is not. We fought for ideas, for philosophy, for freedom, equality, fraternity. Vive la revolution. And do you know what drove us on as we fought? What fueled the streets of Paris in that glorious spring? What made our hearts soar? Uh, cheap wine and free sex? <laughs> no, madame, no! It was French Café Noir that inspired us. The simple demitas, The black, sweet taste of freedom. So that's why you closed? Yes, uh... madame. I serve only thinkers, philosophers, revolutionaries. And you, madame, with your polite top and your pointy ears. And none of those things. This is a cafe. Yes. To the right people. On any other day, I would have given this guy a straight one to the chin. But there was a chance he could help me get into the gallery. Well, this guy's awkward, so... Kind of weird past him. Here's my press card. La liberté. Madame, you are not the person that I took you to be. You must accept my deepest, my most profound apologies. Well, of course I accept. But why? La liberté. The great journal of freedom. At the height of the battle, as the tear gas blew and the blood flowed, it was la liberté which carried the voice of our revolution to the world. I know now that you are not the kind of woman who would ask me for almond croissant. You are a true daughter of France, and I am your humble servant. Monsieur. The road to enlightenment is a long one, madame. Perhaps you will walk that road with me? Could we have a little chat? Any time, madame. Oh, yeah. Did you see anything happen at the gallery earlier? I saw you running after a pizza delivery guy. Somebody said he killed someone. That's true. He stole a painting and shot the gallery owner. Uh, how close we are to death. And yet how far from ever comprehending it. Mm, well, right now I need to get back inside and figure out what happened. I applaud you, madame. To seek the truth is a worthy ambition. As a journalist, that is my duty. The waiter didn't need to see my press card again. How about some coffee? For you, madame, of course. There is only one coffee that I can serve you. Black, strong. And in a tiny cup. One moment. Oh, he's a friend, <coughs> enemy. He doesn't like me. Next, he's a friend. And he's going to sell my coffee. Here is your coffee, madame. Thank you, monsieur. I can't make his mind up. <laughs> huh. The coffee was hot and strong. Could you make me a coffee to go? For a fellow revolutionary? Of course, madame. One moment. 
I like how the fact it's free coffee and they're not actually charging any for this. No money or anything. You just uh, can I have a coffee? Can you have a coffee? Just kill me. Here's your takeaway coffee, madame. Thank you, monsieur. Giving away free coffee. <laughs> I'll come back here later. The <laughs> guy's giving me a few copies, but <clears throat> Let's see if we can get past the moon now. Sergeant Moo, I brought you a coffee. Coffee? Fantastic. Just what I need. But wait. I must not. My little p p p problem. I'm sure one little cup of coffee won't hurt. I am tempted, madame, but I cannot risk it. I am sorry. So, this incident, it involved you, some coffee, and your... A little problem? It is a tale of woe, madame. I'm all ears, sergeant. Well, since you seem quite understanding, I shall elaborate. Please do. I was in charge of canine security for the President himself. Uh, one day, en vacances, he went for a private discussion with a lady minister. I stayed alone with his dog, but I had drunk a coffee to stay awake, and nature came to call. So I tied the dog to a tree and went for a secret pee-pee. When I came back, the dog was having a Liaison dangereux with the Lady Minister's terrier. But how did they find out? Well, two months later, the President's Labrador gave birth to six beautiful mongrels. And I was busted to sergeant just after the President's divorce came through. You are a victim of a great injustice, sergeant. You think so? But of course. You knew you must not fall asleep at your post. You were guarding the President himself. Well, the President's dog. Ah, it was the same thing. Yes, I suppose. And by drinking that coffee, you made the ultimate sacrifice for our glorious Republic. Your career. Mm. How you put it like that? And now France is calling you again. She is saying, drink, Sergeant Mou, drink! She is? She is. Drink or fall asleep at your post. Which is it to be? I suppose it is drink? Bravo, Sergeant! Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, excuse me, madame, I must use the petit gendarme's room. It has gone straight through me. Could you watch the gallery door for me? Oh, you can count on me, sergeant. <laughs> I distracted Mou. It was now or never. How did you get past Sergeant Moo? Huh. Well, you won't fool me so easily, madame. I shall question <laughs> you later. Nico, am I glad to see you. I managed to grab a couple of photos, but the guy got away. Poor Henri is dead. I know. Why kill him? I've been trying to find out. Turns out, the alarm was tampered with. It looks to me like an inside job. So, no ordinary robbery? And no ordinary painting. The priest claims that La Maledizio is evil. I need to get into the office and see what the CCTV has to offer. So, what's the problem? The inspector's watching me like a hawk. I'll never get in without some sort of distraction. I'll see what I can do. Right. Okay, let's get to work. See if I can distract. 
Inspector Nave. Inspector Nave, do you have a moment? My time is of the essence. Be quick now. I suppose this is quite a complex case, Inspector. It is a robbery gone bad. Nothing more, nothing less. Surely there's a bit more to it than that. Please abstain from baseless conjecture, madame. The victim's body paints a simple picture, more reliable than any witness statement. Consider the impact of the bullet, and note the concomitant lack of blood. A casual homicide. Nothing more. Could you give me a statement, Inspector? Now is not the time, madame. Don't you find it odd that the thief chose that one particular painting? Life is full of odd things, madame. Fingerless gloves, white dog poo-poo, nasal hair. I prefer to concern <laughs> myself with murder. He's not exactly the smartest guy in the world, Navi. What do you think about the American, George? He is deeply suspicious. Did you see the alarm was sabotaged? I have interrogated the crime scene, madame. I am fully aware of the disabled security. I prefer biological evidence to the merely circumstantial. Body parts, blood, important things. Don't you think the disabled alarm is highly suspicious, though? The forensic team will be along shortly. Voice your concerns to them. Do not bother me with this circumstantial flip-flap. Why don't you check out the security camera footage? Madame, that is not my area of expertise. It is the body which concerns me. But the CCTV footage is evidence. It could help identify the killer. Correction, madame. It is but an indicator. The only true evidence is bodily fluid. Unless you know something I don't, then please leave me be. The only evidence Inspector Nave seemed to appreciate involved yes. gore. Oh. Thanks, Inspector. I'll let you know if I remember anything else. A violent man. If I was going to distract Nave, I needed to unearth new evidence or concoct some. And the bloodier, the better. Let's see what I can dig up here using what I've got here. Um, Are you Hector Lane, the art critic? Enchanté, madame. And which of the angels are you? I'm Nico Kala, a reporter. Ah, a fallen angel then, my favorite sort. What can you tell me about the painting that was taken? It was called La Maledicio, an unknown work that only recently surfaced. Who was the artist? A mysterious figure known only as El Serp. Some say he was a student of Picasso. He was good, but not great. And his true identity remains unknown. What can you tell me about the theft? Oh, it was truly awful. What do you want to know? Tell me about the shooting, monsieur. It all happened so fast. Take your time. What did you see? I can't be sure. Perhaps I could answer your questions over dinner. I'm sorry, monsieur. I'm on a tight deadline. Did you see the thief? I would have tackled him, but he was too quick for me. Did you know that the alarm had been sabotaged? No. How dreadful. I suppose that's why the alarm isn't ringing. Have you spoken to Georges? The American? Yes. He promised to clear up any misunderstandings the police might have about my presence here. Lane's a big suspect. What can you tell me about Henri's involvement with the gallery? 
Dear Henri, a shining diamond in the ordure that is the modern art business. He owned the gallery. What will we do without him? He is my press guard. And there was I thinking you were too young and beautiful to be a reporter. Thanks for your help, Monsieur Lane. I wasn't going to get anything useful from Lane. Please, well, not really useful, so at least we've got to talk to Father Simeon. Excuse me, Father. Father Simeon, my child. Are you okay, Father? It's a terrible shock, but <laughs> yes, I'm fine, thank you. Could I ask you some questions about the crime? What kind of questions? I'm a reporter for La Liberté. I suppose it cannot hurt. Please ask away. This is my press card. As I said, I work for La Liberté. Good. Be sure to warn your readers that this painting is evil. Why did you come to the gallery today, Father? God brought me here. I saw the poster for the exhibition. I had to come. What do you mean? I knew there was great evil in La Maledictio. It was my duty to confront it. The painter was El Serp, the serpent, don't you see? Evil? So what were you planning on doing here today? I wanted to bear witness to anything that the devil would conjure. Well, I think it was a no-show, Father. Really? A man is dead, Miss Collard. I'd say his work here today is done. That wasn't going to help my story. Did you see anything that might help identify the killer? The devil takes many forms, child. I didn't get a good enough look, I'm afraid. Anything would help. I am sorry, my dear. My mind was elsewhere. What do you know about Henri? An innocent victim, in so far as any of us are innocent. If he was peddling such blasphemous works as the El Serp painting, then who knows what other sins he was hiding. Father Simeon was making me feel guilty. Priests always did that to me. What can you tell me about the painting? Grotesque and evil. How can a painting be evil? By killing all who come into contact with it. Does that mean we're next? Laugh not at the devil's play, Miss Collard. Do you know anything about the painter, El Serp? He was a purveyor of blasphemy, a servant of the Antichrist. How can you know that? It is clear from his work. Father Simeon was making a lot of assumptions. Thank you for your time, Father. Well, Father Simeon... The priest had nothing useful to offer. is not really much help at all. So, I'm left with two guys here. Um, not really helpful, and now they still to get distracted. Mm -hmm. Dum 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 dum. Not really helpful to clear this crime scene so far. Okay. Um Bring attention to myself. I go back to the door here. I started out there. Getting in had um, not been easy. I needed to stay to pursue the investigation. I think of what else I could actually do. Uh, this is something I'm missing in the room. Oh, pizza box. Mm. The tomato sauce had splattered on the floor. Tomato sauce. Um. No way was I going to clean that up with my bare hands. Oh. I spread some of this sauce around with my shoe. It looked a little bit like a blood stain, but it still wasn't right. Looks like it's possible. If I was going to distract the cook, 
I had to get rid of that gun. Also, the latest is a blood stain, so let's see what we can do here. Oh. No way. Get this chewing gum off my cart. I scraped up the chewing gum with my press card, hoping the inspector wouldn't notice. Oh, good stuff. The tomato sauce looked as close to blood as it was ever going to. <laughs> Inspector! Yes? Have you seen the stain on the floor over there? It looks like blood. Indeed. How very curious. I must investigate immediately, before one of these idiots steps in it. <laughs> nice to see you a, a filled Inspector Navi. Hmm, interesting. Maybe it is time to employ the machine. Okay, Georges, that should distract him for a while. Nice work, Nico. I'll let you know what I find in the office. It's amazing how he's not even going to notice George opening a door. Join us next time for more a broken sword, more mystery, intrigue, and drama. <laughs>